In a recent development, Karnataka Governor Thawarshan Gelot has given permission to prosecute Chief Minister Siddharamaya in connection with the Muda scam. This news comes from sources cited by the news agency PTI. The controversy at the center of this scandal revolves around the 50 50 incentive scheme of the Mysore Urban Development Authority Muda. The scheme aims to compensate individuals who lost their land for layout developments by providing them with either 50% of the sites or alternative plots. However, numerous allegations have surfaced, suggesting widespread violations within the scheme. It has been reported that some individuals have received uh, more alternative sites than they were entitled to under the scheme. One significant aspect of the scandal involves Siddharamaya's wife. Parvati, it is revealed that she owned three acres of land in Kasari village, Mysuru, which was acquired by the Muda for development purposes. As compensation, she was allotted compensatory sites in a prime area of Mysuru. However, it is alleged that the value of these allotted plots far exceeds the value of her original land. A recent government order based on an inquiry conducted by an IAS officer has strengthened the case against Siddharamaya. The order suggests that there is prima facie evidence of illegalities in the allocation of these sites. Furthermore, it highlights complaints stating that the beneficiary sites were not given to eligible individuals, but were instead allotted to influential individuals and real estate agents. This latest development has brought the Muda scam to the forefront of public attention once again. The decision to prosecute the Chief Minister marks a significant step towards holding those responsible accountable for their actions. As the investigation progresses, it remains to be seen how the case will unfold and what consequences it may have on the political landscape of Karnataka. The citizens eagerly await justice to be served and a resolution to this controversial episode.